Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to discuss how to study for step 3 and I'm going to go over mostly the resources. I have created other videos that go into more detail on how to study for step 3 and tackle CCS cases, so please check out those. Let's get to the meat of this topic, the vegan meat. <laughs> so how exactly should you study for the step three exam? Well, people usually buy UWorld and CCS cases. First of all, get UWorld, use it for its QBank only. Don't use it for its interactive CCS case type questions. They weren't beneficial, to be quite honest. Go to ccscases.com and do those. So UWorld for the UWorld question bank, similar to how you would study for step two on UWorld or even step one. And for ccscases.com, do all of the cases if you can. It's really important to note here that I created two other videos regarding how to tackle CCS cases slash cases on the step three exam, so please be sure to watch those. And guess what? You know how we had a few biostats questions on step one, a couple more on step two? Well, step three has a lot more biostats questions, so don't forget to focus on biostats while studying. So yes, focus on UWorld Step 3 Biostats. You're not going to get any really wild out there Biostats questions, but if you do this practice, you should be pretty solid. For extra practice, if you still have an active subscription of the Step 2 UWorld QBank, do the Step 2 Biostats if you'd like. You can also go on Amboss and do their Biostats questions, focusing on drug ads as well, because there are quite a few drug ads. And I didn't get a full on Amboss subscription, I just used their free trial and that was enough. And if you you want, you can also pay for the extra UWorld Step 3 Biostats, but to be honest, I didn't find this to be necessary. It basically just included a more detailed explanation of some questions that were already present on the UWorld Step 3 QBank, so I would save your money, to be honest, but it's up to you. If you want a more detailed explanation, then that might help. Okay, aside from UWorld, maybe Ambossed, and definitely ccscases.com, what are some other resources that you may need to study for the Step 3 exam? Well, if you watch my other video regarding the basic structure of the exam, you'll know that the first day kind of has some Step 1 questions. So, get out your first aid for Step 1. Yes, for Step 1. So you can pull out your first aid for step one and go to the rapid review section, which is usually at the end of the book, and that will give you some key phrases to look out for that can help jog your memory. So for example, if you see Philadelphia chromosome, that might trigger your memory and you know what the condition is. Also take a look at some of the earlier sections of the first aid for step one book, like the microbiology section, pharmacology section. There may be questions regarding the drug mechanism of action, biochemistry, you know the receptors. So for example, muscarinic receptors, nicotinic receptors, what acts on what. There may be some anatomy questions. So for example, regarding lesions, like so if the patient presents this way and they have for example, foot drop, what nerve was lesioned, and neurotransmitters, like the level of neurotransmitters in different diseases, like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, what are the dopamine levels, are they high or low, etc. Other resources that could be helpful include Quizlet for step three. A lot of students or residents make their own decks on Quizlet and it's essentially like flashcards. So you click on the flashcard, it flips around, it shows you the answer or the information that you're looking for. And you can also scroll down and see that it's in list format as well. So you can look up a Quizlet pharmacology deck to refresh your memory regarding pharmacology. And if you want, you can skim through some of your notes from sketch Sketchy Micro and Sketchy Farm. This might be a bit overkill. I ended up doing it and I thought hmm, maybe that was a little too much. I didn't really have to do all of that, but it can help refresh your memory on the drugs, the mechanism of actions, the microbiology, etc. All right, quick recap for the resources to use for step three. The ones that I thought are most important, I starred. So there's UWorld Step 3 QBank. Make sure you focus on biostatistics. Of course, don't ignore everything else. You have to study the other organ systems, etc. as well. If you still have a subscription to Step 2, you can do extra practice problems on biostats using that. You can also use Amboss Biostats for extra practice and even their QBank for Step 3 if you'd like. CCSCases.com is a a must 
a must, 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 must. So you must have that. UWSA to test your knowledge and get a sense of how you might score. You can do an NBME for the step three exam on the official website as well. Step one first aid sections that I mentioned. And if you'd like, you can also use the Quizlet Banks and Sketchy Micro Slash Farm to just refresh your memory. So I hope I answered the question on which resources to use for step three. Again, I've made other videos regarding how to study for step three, how to tackle CCS cases. I explained what some of the cases are like on the exam as well, the basic structure of the step three exam. So yes, I hope this helped you. And if you could please subscribe to my channel and share my videos, that would be really helpful. I like to post helpful advice for students and I do it for free because I know just how difficult it is to afford educational resources. Sometimes it can be very expensive, but if you could please help me out by subscribing and sharing my videos and liking them, that would be really awesome. Happy studying.